putting your property to work for you is certainly an attractive one, but let's face it, being a landlord is equivalent to running a business. Hello, property management brainstormers. It's Bob Preston here, your host, and welcome to 5-Minute Friday. FMF is a mini podcast series where I offer my best tips and advice regarding questions I frequently get from property managers, real estate investors, and landlords. I do this every Friday in five minutes or less. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to get all my quick advice and updates. And let's get started with today's FMF. We're going to jump right into this today because we've only got five minutes and I have an important announcement to cover in that five minutes. I have a new ebook we're offering on the website at northcountypropertygroup.com. It's called Best Practices for Renting Your Home. Learn the pitfalls and safety nets from a pro. And this ebook is absolutely free. So I'm pretty excited about it and I hope you will be too. I will provide the link to that ebook in our episode notes, but you can probably just go also to the North County Property Group website at www.ncpropertygroup.com. That's NC as in North County, ncpropertygroup.com, and you'll find a link to the ebook. So for today's episode, I'm going to do a quick overview of what's in this ebook, but we got to do it in five minutes, so we got to get going. One of the topics I cover in my new ebook, Best Practices for Renting Your Home, is why it's such an attractive time for real estate investors to enter the rental market. Days on market are at an all-time low while the rent rates are climbing every day. So these are some interesting dynamics to jump in to the rental market of real estate and start making money off of a rental property. Now, the idea of putting your property to work for you is certainly an attractive one. But let's face it, being a landlord is equivalent to running a business. As with any business before starting up, you need to understand if you're cut out for this and your strengths and weaknesses and if this is something you really think you can do on your own. I always encourage my clients to consider and honestly answer some questions that I have in my book before embarking on becoming a landlord. For example, you know, am I ready to share my home with another person or does that feel strange? This is like the basic question. I find that, you know, some homeowners or investors have an emotional attachment to their home. This may not work well if you're also trying to rent it. Another similar question is, do I live near the rental property and am I available to visit the home when it's required? Can I be on call 24-7, 365 to respond to tenant complaints, maintenance requests, or possibly emergencies. These are all really, really critical factors. Now, if you answer no to some of those questions, you can still be a real estate investor, but you might want to consider at that point hiring a property manager because we do all these things that I'm going to cover in this ebook. Becoming a landlord, whether you rent directly to a tenant or utilize a property manager, will provide you with the opportunity to generate great cash flow from your real estate investment. In a strong real estate market, in addition to the cash flow, your property's value will likely appreciate. The beauty of holding on to a property as a rental is that the income you receive can help cover those expenses for your house payment, your insurance, your property taxes, all those kind of things, while at the same time building equity as the property appreciates. This concept is known as leverage. With a small amount of money as a down payment and the remainder being borrowed from the bank, the property will earn money for the entire value of the home to provide a return on investment. You need to also realize that while the advantages and benefits of owning a rental property are very attractive, it's also necessary to consider that there are some very serious obligations and responsibilities that come along with being a landlord. For example, you have to be in legal compliance. I think I've already mentioned there's sort of a 24-7 on-call availability. And of course, you need to keep your property well-maintained. An important part of your rental property business is also accounting and record keeping. You must keep accurate records, provide the supporting documentation of your income and expenses on each property in case of an audit. And this has to be turned over to a really competent CPA or tax advisor who will handle your annual tax returns. In the ebook, I also cover the types of insurance you will need as a landlord. It gets into rental dwelling insurance, renter's insurance that your tenant should cover. Once you start speaking, to prospective tenants, it's also important to always do so in the context of federal, state, and sometimes local laws that prevent landlords from discriminating against protected classes. We typically call this fair housing laws and the Fair Housing Act of 1968. And, you know, you have to make sure you're you're doing this the right way and within legal compliance, especially when you're starting to advertise the property, taking calls and speaking with 
prospective tenants. If you have any questions about becoming a landlord, I hope you'll download the ebook. Again, that's at ncpropertygroup.com. I'll also provide the link in my episode notes. And if you have any questions about becoming a landlord or hiring a property manager, we'd love to chat and help you make that decision. And we're here to help. Thank you for joining this episode of 5-Minute Fridays and TGIF.